Welcome to my channel SwiftLearn. This tutorial I will show how to create setup file with attached Microsoft SQL Server database which can be installed in any computer with accessing the database without install SQL Server. After 100% proof Start Visual Studio. Okay, now I'm gonna create new project and uh, create new Windows Form application. The name of this Windows application form is just uh, set up with SQL DB, and I just stored it in G my test project folder. Okay. And now I'm gonna create this project with attaching SQL database. Just design this form to insert and just record from database MS SQL Server database. After performing this task, then I will create setup file with attaching MS SQL database .mdf file, and finally I will install it in different computer with 100% proof. I'll show 100% proof. Okay, now. I'm just adding three level control ID name is and uh, the title of this page is create setup file and setup project SQL with SQL database okay now just uh, change the font size and uh, default start position center screen and the font font is uh, the back color of this form is aqua okay now add three text box the text box one for id and text box two for name and text box two for is uh, change the font size of this text box okay 12 is enough uh, now id name is okay now add a button control to insert record and in database button name is uh, button font size 12 and the text of this below the pattern is insert and the, I just to design this button add another button to charge the record from SQL Server database in Windows Form application. Load. Okay. Now add a data grid view control to display the data after insertion. Okay. Now add new item. I'm gonna add a uh, MDF file. You can uh, take this MDF file. If you, if you already create a database, then you can uh, copy and paste this MDF file uh, from C uh, program file SQL Microsoft SQL Server data from that location where the MDF file is stored. Okay, retrieve. There is no table yet. I just create the database. There is data set one. Okay, now go to the Server Explorer and this is the my database name is database1.mdf. Okay, still there is no table. I'm gonna add in a table. The column is ID, integer type, data type is integer, and name and worker 50 is float. Float will decimal, uh, will support decimal. ID is primary key. The name of this table is user tape. Click on OK. okay now it's done go to the button click event yes here i will write code to insert operation go to the fv config file this is the connection string now first of all write uh, call the connection. first of all connect with your database database one to connect with your database in your with your project then uh, write sql connection con equal to new sql connection uh, add namespace in system to data dot SQL client the namespace is added you can write the namespace in front of uh, namespace okay now just copy the connection string the connection string is uh, this is the connection string I marked just copy this connection string 
this is attached database connection string see that sql server attached db directory database under time df target security and the instance equal to true okay now just copy this connection string and paste it in the sql connection brax uh, yes now it's connected with your database database one dot mdf now i'm gonna say oh yes there is showing in some error uh, because of backslash single backslash to avoid this error just add at the rate be, uh, before that double condition okay now open the connection con dot open now i'm gonna write sql command to insert record in database database one dot mdf in the table of uh, user type okay now sql command cmd equal to new sql command my uh, command is insert into user tape my table name is user tape so i'm gonna insert a record in user tape uh, values values are uh, id name is values are id and call the connection connection at the rate of id at the rate of name it it, uh, it this is just variable you can write anything based on column uh, table column okay now cmd dot parameters dot add with value the id id where the id will take where the load variable uh, this is from textbox one uh, textbox one for id what's the what i already added in the windows form application uh, and id is integer type so it's uh, must convert to uh, the integer in that case integer dot first type of swan dot text and cmd dot parameter dot now second second text box is for name at the end of name the, this is n marker type so no need to convert it to integer in that case just text box two dot text okay now third one cmd dot parameter dot add with value is age is float so convert it to double because it will support decimal as well okay now tag was three dot double dot first tag was three dot test finally cmd dot execute non query execute non query used to insert update or delete operation you can see all the insert update delete uh, tutorial on the channel okay close the connection con dot close finally display the masses message box dot show after submitting the record after inserting a record will display the message successfully uh, saved okay now insert uh, operation is done now go to the second button button to load uh, click event uh, to load data what data you just inserted you uh, it will display the data i just coefficient to reducing time now just change the sql command my command is select a star from user tip what data are exist in the user tab table it will display in the data grid in that case just i just uh, uh, write uh, as a command select start from user tab now sql data adapter di equal to new sql data adapter and uh, call the cmd uh, yes okay now data table dt equal to new data table I just declaring a data table and finally i will load the da data adapter in data table dt da dot field dt okay now finally i will display the record dt in data grid in that case data could be under data source equal to dt finally con uh, close the connection con dot close okay just debug it's debugging yes yes now just a field uh, text box id is 1001 and 101 name swift is 25 just click on insert successful insert just click on load yes to swift uh, now to is donald age is 22 just insert yes load yes it's also inserted close now now I'm going to create setup file with attached SQL database which can be installed in any computer with accessing database. Okay, go to the uh, solution explorer. Now right click in the uh, application, Profa, go to the property and click on publish in the left fan. First of all, uh, I am just creating a folder in the desktop where I will or uh, or I create the setup file.
the name of this folder is my uh, my setup yes my setup file I just uh, create this folder with uh, the name is my setup file here I will create the setup file with addressing SQL database in that case uh, just browse publishing folder just browse desktop expand the desktop yes my setup file folder is displaying just click on open yes it's opened for well, location uh, yes see that here the database wonder dot mdf application file what file uh, after publishing after creating setup file what file will uh, exist uh, click on prerequisites here uh, if uh, just uh, select microsoft.net framework for client profile x86 and x 64 just download prerequisite where you where you just install this uh, application it will download the prerequisites okay now click on option here you can see description development manifest and file associations okay uh, you can uh, just click on create desktop sh uh, shortcut uh, after installation you can see add uh, the shortcut in the desktop okay just select it and add description publisher in language you can select language publisher name name swift learn site name if you have any site name you can put i just uh, write the site name is swift learn and product name product name is uh, test setup when you install you can see the app uh, shortcut file as uh, test setup name if you have your you can put okay now uh, just publish you click on publish wizard yes next and from cd dvd room next the application will not check if you uh, uh, take update you can update then you can not not check for update okay now next uh, just uh, publish is ready just click finish to publish yes it's publishing it takes some time just be patient and see uh, see when it's completing the publish uh, then you can see the publish file will display in this location my setup file desktop my setup file yes see yes yes it's published and the setup file is created now i am gonna keep this application the setup uh, setup file in the network drive my network just right click and copy yes now i'm gonna paste this setup project in network then i will install it in other computer keep watching please okay this is my network and here are many computer in my network this is a big network okay now the uh, com server and abdullah t r a h folder i just paste this uh, setup file in r a h folder okay once again confirm com network com server abdullah t rush confirm this location and i will now uh, I'll go I'll jump to other computer where I'll install from this location C yes yes computer address uh, I just hide my computer address IP uh, for security purpose okay now I am just taking this setup file from network drive in that case i am just entering the location this is completely different piece in the, uh, the, the pc name is a web server and com server same same uh, pc and rh for com server rh folder yes abdullah rh folder see that confirm once again com server abdullah rh folder where i paste uh, the setup file i am just copy the setup file from that location and paste it in the g drive of this pc paste yes it's paste now i'll install it in this computer but i will not install sql server see that what uh, i have deployed the database wanted mdf ldf and the config file application exe file all are published all are uh, added now just creating setup file yes click on install no need to install SQL Server no need to configure SQL Server. It automatically installs. Yes, test setup server is created. Now just uh, insert record ID. Uh, yes, ID one zero zero one. Swift 
name swift is 25 successfully saved yes now add another record second record is donald to yes the second record is added now i'm gonna create one more record uh, 103 john 55 successfully saved yes now close this application what the sh shortcut created i am just running the, the shortcut just load yes what three records i just uh, inserted it's displaying now i'm gonna add one more record to sh to prove you that this is uh, installed with database insert okay yes all the record are added thanks to see this video